Hello everybody, it is me Darcy. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Unnamed Podcast podcast where I sit here next to Chris for some time mm. and we talk rubbish for that time. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, Chris, as always, we might as well get started with a little bit of channel news. Let me show up. What's been going on in the channel recently? Chris, tell me. Break it down for me. Okay, so on Monday, Darcy put out a Mario Kart mm-hmm. um, where we played as... Two different teams to see whose teams. team would win. Go watch it to find out. Can't spoil it right now. Oh yeah, no, that was that was good fun. That was good fun. Go I do on. love me some Mario Kart. Um, it's basically, crazy. it was a test. Um, if you will, you'll, y'all, fuck's sake. If you will remember the um, the Halloween, Halloween Mario Kart from last year, yes, which many of you may not because you weren't with us back then. But that is actually true, yeah. Um, over a third of the people that are currently with us were not with us back then. Yeah. So, no, sorry, over two thirds. We were about oh, 30 yeah, that's people right. back then. Now we're almost 100. That's true, yeah. Sure. Um, so anyway, yep. We we do a Halloween race to crown the king or queen of Halloween, which me and Chris are not allowed to participate in. Yes. For obvious reasons. Um, the obvious reasons being that we would offer it would just be which which of Darcy or Chris is king of Halloween. <laughs> it's yeah, that's pretty much what um, it would be. Our friends, God bless their souls, are not good at Mario Kart unless we are all at Jordan's place playing Nintendo sixty four Mario Kart on the original Nintendo sixty four. Which, which case everyone's back. No one's good at Mario Kart because you can't be good at Mario Kart while you're bleeding from your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that is exactly what that is. And like, no, seriously, we we did go back and we played the old sixty four on. I have a feeling it wouldn't be so bad if it was on old school TV. Oh, it'd be fine. Look, Look, it'd be probably fine on a monitor like this. On his it, massive it was, TV. It'd be so much better if it was on... It was, I think it's like a 65-inch TV or something like that. Yeah, it was my yeah. brain inducing. Oh, it um, was. I was... Yeah, I was sitting there after two races, and I was just like, had my head buried in my hands, being like, it it hurts so badly. <laughs> Let's stop. Um, we still have another two races to go, and we just gave up. Yeah. We were done. It was... It was it was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we don't actually participate in that because what we do do is um, we we act as trump cards pretty much. Which didn't work for us last year because only one person used it. No. Wait, who else used it? Someone used you. I was used twice. You were also used twice. Oh, yeah, I was. Yep. And one of them for, for the both of us was bad because of uh, controls. Mm. Mm. Huh. But anyway, the point is that there's this Halloween race we do. But then because this year I want me and Chris to get involved, I actually yeah. want to do team races where we'll have teams and we will always race, but we'll switch through our team roster. Yeah. yeah. And that way we can see who is the better leader. So this was kind of a practice for that. Yeah. And let's just put it this way. When it comes to, to doing that, that one, being had Halloween, Baby Park will not be allowed. No, no, that's fair. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Because that was a piece of BS. <laughs> um, Again, fair. I also found out um, in one of the races, I get angry at Chris because something hit me and we couldn't figure out what it was because the person behind me was my teammate. Yeah. The person that I was in front, that was I was about to beat was your teammate, but then something hit me out of the blue. Yeah. It turns out a green shell I had thrown forwards about five minutes earlier had come flying back and hit me. Wait, five minutes earlier? Yeah, like the last lap I'd thrown a green shell and just been bouncing around. But, it, it, but it's only supposed to last like three or four bounces. Yeah. No, I have no idea. But it came back and it hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I was hit by my own green shell that I had not remembered throwing. <laughs> That's Cause hilarious. Because I, yeah, no, like, I kid you not, I threw this green shell, right? Are you sure it wasn't like my teammate that was in front? No, no, I, I watched. Before I watched. Him? I watched because he had already turned the corner and I had thrown this green shell and just forgotten about it because I was like, I, I'd thrown it ages ago. Yeah. And I was like, and I'd forgotten about it. And as I turned the corner, it just came out of nowhere and hit me. Like it wasn't even in the screen. I just saw like a flash of a screen of green hit me. And I was like, well, I was only, I went, that's a green shell. I went, no one had, I had a green shell. No. <laughs> Because I was under the same impression. It bounces about twice, three times at max, but then yeah, it breaks. It's supposed to break after a couple of bounces, yeah. But apparently that it had just, maybe because it had thrown it on a long straight, it had just been bouncing really slowly. But 
which is really weird because they're faster than we are. Exactly. That's what I mean. But, yeah. So I threw this shell, right? Yeah. And it's gone off the track, like, really quickly, and then just been living in the bushes and then come back and attack me. So apparently he wasn't happy with me throwing it. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's actually kind of funny. That was pretty fucked up. <laughs> but it helped me. It did help you. It helped you a lot. <laughs> Oh man. Um, oh, man. What else has happened this week, Chris? Uh, Subnautica came out today, Wednesday. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Uh, a few shorts came out as well. Oh, yes, there is shorts for the rest of the week. Two a day for the rest of the week. Two a day, shit. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, I went crazy because um, in that episode of Gears of War, I did in fact have a space laser. Oh, and man. that led to a lot of shenanigans on my behalf. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I think, um, and there's also the um, stuff from Satisfactory from last week as well. Oh, yes, yes. Um, and you know that yeah, in Satisfactory, I'm, I'm kind of a menace. Um, That's true, yes. As you'll get to see in a Satisfactory that will be coming out soon that we filmed literally yesterday. Yes. Where I spent a lot of time flying. You do, you do. Yeah, as I did. I didn't actually have to deal with your you being a menace all that much. No, because I went for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> While I stayed back to continue the factory. And much like Alucard in the Hellsinger Bridge series. Yes. My walks are terrifying. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I know the feeling. I really do. This was like, oh, the last, uh, last coughing spit. Yeah, it feels like, yeah, it, feel, it feels like it's just seven in my fucking throat. <coughs> Dealt with that one many a times. Oh. I was coughing up blood the other day. It was well, fun. That's, that's not, <coughs> that's not fun. Oh, <coughs> uh, that was, Last Tuesday. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my throat was so fucking raw that I was, like, coughing. And, like, as I was spitting up the fucking shit coming out of my lungs, it was just, like, red tendrils of blood. And I'm like, Ugh. I looked and it was like, my throat was just bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It was god awful. I don't imagine. Yeah. Fuck. Mm. Never been that bad, man. I get the really chesty cough. Um... My, mine, I have a massive diaphragm, I believe. Uh, true. Um, so I've always been really, really violent in my coughs. Like true. to the point where I used to get sent home from schools because I was coughing. And not like, because I was super sick. I'd be sitting there and I'd just be like, boom, 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 boom. And I'd cough like four times. He's like, Darcy, you're going home. And I'd be like, well, I'm not that sick. And they're like, You've just disrupted the class. <laughs> They're like, we can't have you here. You're not doing anything wrong. You are disrupting the class because you're this tiny little kid who just coughs like a fucking machine. <laughs> yeah. Like, people from the next class were like, what the fuck just happened in here? It's like, oh, one of the kids coughed. Well, yeah, yeah. I, whereas I get the... Um, <laughs> <coughs> I don't get it all the time, but when I do, it's like, it's that cough that sounds like a, a, like a dying dog trying to bark. Uh, I get those ones. <coughs> oh, no, 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 no. So there's volume to it, but it's like as if it does scratch on the way out. Oh, yeah. But it is. It's one of those real chesty ones that have a lot of noise behind them, but it's super dry as well. Oh, yeah. Well, that's like the big thing for me. Like, this sickness, the one that I've had over the last two weeks, I only cough, like, to clear, I'm only really coughing to clear out my lungs. Yeah, true. Which true. Fucking sucks. I feel bad. But like, I'd be, hard. I'd be like, I'd wake up and I'm like, oh, I feel good. I feel good. And about five minutes later, I'm like, <gasps> and it's like as I'm breathing, and you can actually like hear the air fighting its way through all this crap that's in my lungs. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, it's always five minutes after you wake up. It's never immediately, mm. uh, anyway. unless unless you're super sick. So I'm like hearing it, like the air as I'm breathing in, like fighting its way through to try and get to my lungs. I'm just like, oh no. 
this is gonna and then I'd like stand there for about three minutes just like cough spitting up and like spitting up like solid bits of phlegm that I'm just like and they're like these clean little balls I'm like okay so that was in my lungs am I good now nope or you take that (laughs) you're about to get the piece out and you take that slight breath and it's like oh it's gone back in Mm. (laughs) you gotta work harder to get it out again Mm. fortunately for like the last three days it hasn't been like solid but that's it's been like just gluey it's almost like mm-hmm. I'm coughing up glue. And I'm like, oh, that's the worst. And, oh, it sucks. Because, like, you cough it up a piece and go, Kuh! and you spit it, and then you just kind of, like, feel... And there's a little bit that just stays. And it just kind of... It, it's in the sink and your throat at the same time. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> then you're on the verge of throwing up. Yeah, I've done that a few times as well. I I hate when that happens. No, like, I'll be not. coughing something up, and I'll just be like... Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did it have to stop fucking there? Yeah, mm. no, it fucking sucks. Anyway, yeah, it's back to Subnautica. Yeah. Um, yeah, in this one, you know, we we are continuing the exploration in the new, new, uh, world. Oh, okay. the new new world. No, 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 well, I started when I started the series. I obviously started a hardcore mode. Yeah, survival mode, and then to not this one, but the one before, I was swimming along and like. In the hardcore, they don't tell you you're about out of oxygen. So I was at the bottom of the ocean, and I, <laughs> and I looked at my thing and went, I have 10 seconds to get to the top. And I was never going to make it. I was like 170 metres under the water. And it's like, I have 10... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's rough. because you'd you'd, So I died. You'd want to be doing about 20 metres a second on that one. Yeah. Ain't and happening. I died, and that erased the game. So I had to, I had an option, start again from scratch. I was about four, maybe five hours in. Yeah. Or go back to another survival, not hardcore, but a survival where I was about the same position. Yeah. I was a little bit further in some aspects, but a little bit further behind in others. So okay. I just opened that and that's become the new Subnautica one. Fair. And in this episode, um, because I call that one Radiation City, because I built my... um base yeah right where the radiation stops so if i come out of my door and swim that way like 10 meters it's like radiation <laughs> fucking hell so i finally built my sea moth and i finally got a radiation suit ah oh, nice yeah that's what you need yeah <laughs> um sake. so yeah we, we are we are making some progress so we can now that we have the sea moth we can make even more progress and hopefully i can get a battery charger because i'm running out of electricity in all of my batteries. Not that they're hard to make, it's just that I don't want to be walking around with a billion batteries on me. I don't want to be that guy. But you would definitely be that guy. Yeah, I have to make a whole drawer in my my underwater base. No, so I figured, I figured. So I can keep them in there. As much as you What's thought, would it dead be batteries. <laughs> Are they D batteries? Technically, yes. Hey, nice. Well, technically, like, here, there's a torch, right? You hold it in your hand. Yeah. And the whole back of it's just the battery. So, technically, it's bigger than a D battery. Well, true, yes, yes. If you're wondering about the D battery, there is a previous podcast. I fucking hate D batteries. <laughs> we were talking about D batteries. I'm crazy for D batteries. I'm pretty sure it's in the title to a degree. Fucking D batteries. <laughs> Everyone loves D batteries. Even the Gears of War love D batteries. I mean, um, yeah, so... So, um, yeah, what else have we got? Well, um, so that's what's coming out this week. Yep. As Chris mentioned, there's a whole bunch. Well, Chris said shorts, and I said lots. Yes. So there's a whole heap of shorts that are still to come. Yeah, um, I, I get surprised on all of this. Mm. Sometimes I get told ahead about what's coming out. Other times it's like, are you okay? Oh, shit, that came out on Monday. With, with most of the time with shorts, though, with most of the time, I try and, I try and get a good mix. Mm, true. So, like... Um. Well, to, on Friday we'll come out your side of the Minecraft. Yes, and the podcast. Correct. So there's a video with you in it. So there's a video with me, and there's a video with us both. So that's a good mix. I try and not yeah. like if I'm putting out my side of the podcast, um, yeah. my side of the Minecraft. I try and make sure that I haven't put out two of just you. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Mate, well, sometimes I do, but that's got more to do with the fact that sometimes I'm just like, I need something short and quick to edit. 
I'll do something solo because that makes mm-hmm. it a little bit easier. True, yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But things that will come, um, so hopefully next week, depending on how well it goes, there will be a Minecraft video. Mm-hmm. Um, possibly a satisfactory video. Okay, yeah, yes. Um, or maybe something else because me and Chris might do some recording today. Yes. Um, well, actually, we will do some recording today, but, you know. Yeah. Um, more than likely, that's going to be a Gears of War. Yeah, yeah, we did discuss that yesterday. I don't think of anything. Possibly something else. Possibly. Um, but yeah, so like... Maybe a bread and fry. Oh, God. Fuck. I am not mentally prepared for that. <laughs> I'm aware. Um, what else? Um... We're, we're steady with our subscriber rate. I can breathe again. <laughs> yeah, so he's on it down here. Yeah, there you go. It's like the largest amount ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the subscribers, steady rate, staying yep. right at uh, 98. I don't know if there was any fluctuation there. Uh, I don't think so, no. no. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's stayed, that's good. Hopefully next week we'll be at 100. Hopefully. We're currently at 98 still. Mm. You know, these yeah. things These things are these things. Well, again, it's a lot better than it was last year. It's a lot better, and as we've said over the past... That's the wrong channel. What is my other channel? Oh, that one, the one with all the architecture stuff. Apparently it has five videos. Oh, yeah. Five videos, just all architecture based. Any subscriber? No. <laughs> it's got five videos from 2013. Right, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. And all of them are purely architectural. Although, to be fair, let me just double check. Hang on, let me double check. Channel news. Uh, yeah, most of them have the same amount of views as our early videos. <laughs> <laughs> At least they got some. Holy shit. What? These are from 11 years ago. Oh, wow. Oh, dear, dear. I told you, 2013. Yeah, you did say that. I just didn't think about that. It's fucking crazy. Jeez. Fucking insane. Mm. Um, yeah, no. Um, yes, what are you checking out? I don't know what you're checking out. No, I'm just checking out the channel. Give me a second. Oh, let's see if there's anything different. Yep, yep. We're still at 98. So, yeah, yeah. hopefully... hopefully uh, this time next week we'll be able to report a little bump um, yeah honestly I wasn't really doing a great deal last week to get people to, 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 to like pull people in like I usually do true, true. Um, usually I've made sure there's a few shorts every week to kind of get the, that extra viewership true and, like you know show people what we're doing but last week as considering that nearly every day I was in bed until about lunchtime and then when I get out of bed I'd go and lie on the couch and die a bit. Yeah. Um, and there's about how last week went, isn't there? Because you mentioned... I slept so much. Oh, yeah. Because you mentioned, like, doing some recording of the weekend. Yeah, we didn't do that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I was assuming you were still down. Um, For at least Saturday. Saturday, what did I do? Oh, Saturday. Yeah. Saturday just wasn't in the mood to really do anything. No, I mean, after the week, I don't blame you. But, yes. Um, that's... Well, I can think of for general news. Yeah. Other than that, you know, we just we've done what we're doing. Uh, we said we got the next Minecraft and Satisfactory film. We'll probably be filming the next episode of Minecraft before the next episodes come out. Yes. Which is um, kind of fun. May do a Phasmo soon. Oh yep, yep. Phasmo's just released they, something new, they, so yes, they've released a new map, so that's um that's on the to-do list. So we've got to get Darcy into that because obviously... Because um, I just did... Uh, I had a run through it last night. Didn't do anything other than look around, but... I guess the goes wrong. You uh, are <laughs> Um, No, I wasn't cheating with that one. It was done on normal difficulty just so I could look. Otherwise, if I stepped foot in the place, I would have died. So we might have... Yeah, we might have some special guests for that one. 
Is it as big as it sounds, or is it like when it says it has a bunch of rooms? It's like, well, it's think of a lighthouse. It gets smaller as you go to the top. Yeah, I can't figure as much. Yeah, so the lower rooms there. So it's not as big as it sounds in the map when they describe the. Map. No, when they described it with uh, was it ten floors, twelve rooms? Let me have a quick look. I'm pretty sure it was like. Pretty six. sure ten and ten and twelve. I ten, think ten it was twelve rooms, but it's uh, very much as you would expect. There's a room off to the side. The, the base of it is bigger than... The Ten top. floors, 12 rooms. Yep. Um, you do get to go outside on the walkway. That's is that there. a room? Well, no, because it's outside. <laughs> uh, I assume the ghost can still get you because you're still technically on the lighthouse. You, you're outside technically, but... I don't know. It's kind of like a porch, isn't it? It is. So I'm unsure as to whether it can get you up there. It might be a safe haven while you're near the top. Looks like we have something to test. Exactly. Um, other than that, yeah, they're, they're base rooms. Decent so we size. probably don't need to pull up a whole four-man team to do that one is what I'm hearing. No, we wouldn't have to. But should we? Probably. Well, we're going to aim to. We're going to aim to. Well, well, well you know what? If we pull together a whole four-man team, we, we should also do some of the bigger maps that we just don't do because they're too big. That's true. Like, That's true. The school's still a pain, even though you've school, got a four man. Prison. I know prison, I pains. reckon we'll jump into prison. Prison's not as bad as the school. Are you kidding? I always hate the prison more than the school. I always hate the school more because you can't find anything. I hate the prison more because it's got more wings. And I suppose it does. And and we have lost. never actually succeeded at the prison. Oh, I've succeeded at the prison many no, times. No, no. As a because team, we've never succeeded at the prison. The two of us haven't. I know I have. Because every time I, most times that I've gone into the prison, you basically, you walk in, the doorway to the right that takes you to the offices, mm. yeah, it's in the offices on the, on the second floor, every fucking time. Yeah, there, I there, think the last time, last time we did the prison and just decided no more was, it was a three-man team. And it was like way in the back near No, ones. no, 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 it was in the hallway of the offices. But until oh, it yeah, started yeah. killing us, it wasn't giving off any signals. Oh, yeah, that's right. We couldn't do it. And, like, about... uh, we were walking around up in there, and we're like, okay, so this is the temperature. It's warmer than it is downstairs up here. Okay. Yeah. yeah There's no right. EMF. There was nothing. Well, no, and then, the and then it killed you, and we went, where'd you die? And you went, on the stairs? And then it was moving around, and you saw it, and you went, oh, it's in the hallway up here. There is a problem with it being in the hallway, though, in any kind of hallway. Mm. Because it just travels the hallway, and it can from there go into one of the other rooms. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking for the temperature, where it technical spot is, because it's gone into one of the rooms, you don't get a reading. I also love the fact that um, in the latest patch notes for Phasmophobia, I have read that they have randomosity in some of their devices. There's like, oh yeah, this device does just give random numbers. It's like... No. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's the lower ones are meant to. That, no, that's all thermometers. All thermometers will just give you random numbers. I'm, well, I'm thinking the numbers are just randomised. And, like, if it's freezing temps, it's just going to be something below freezing. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm assuming no, no, it's no, randomised. No, 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 Because they uh, make a very clear point that the tier three will have less randomization in it. Yeah, which means, supposed to. Which means it will... No, no, but what that means mm. is that it will randomly give you numbers. So yeah. you could be standing in the room the ghost is in, but if it's not yeah. the point where the ghost is supposed to give you under freezing temperatures, you might get a temperature at like 20 degrees and be like, no, oh, this is hotter than the rest of the house. I've never had that issue before. I've always had the issue of like, mm, it's cooler than the rest of the house, but it's not cool enough to say that it's here. And then once it's at a point where it can start hunting, it's like, and now it's cooler than the rest of the house by a point of it's definitely in here. No, nah, but, but that is yeah. literally what that that's their statement was. Like their yeah. statement says you could literally be in a ghost room and because it's the temperature device is designed to give you a random number, and that random number would be set between certain things. Yeah, yeah. It, it could give you the warmest temperature, and I've had this happen before the update oh, happened. of course, yes. In the room where the ghost is, and you go, okay, well, the ghost isn't in here. This is the warmest it's been. Mm, true. Um, then again, anyway. there, there was an issue with the temperature with one of the, um, one of the big updates a while back anyway, where you get freezing temps in every match, 
regardless of whether it was freezing temps. Mm. Fucking irritating. That's, that's what you want. Exactly. Um, yeah, so we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll check out the new update of Phasmo as well. So maybe yes. that might be something that comes out next week. Potentially. Potentially. Well, we'll have the double view for that one as well. It's another one we've put out both years for. If you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, mine can record that. Well, I was just thinking, if we do have a whole four-man team, it probably wouldn't be worth getting yours, because even then we'd only have half the views. True, but sometimes Nick and I do stupid shit when we're around each other. So if I do get if we do get Nick into it, mm. we probably do want my views, my view, so that if we do something stupid with no one else around, we can see it. So I don't know because last time we played with Nick, he was doing stupid stuff in front of me, and I was the one noticing because I was the one chasing him around. <laughs> True, yes. Sort of varies. Like in a lot of games that Nick and I play, though, we we do the dumbest shit because we can. So especially with um, the game that you won't play, I'm briefly forgetting the name for. Labyrinth? Not Labyrinth. Hmm. It'll come to me. It may be. But yeah. it, it's, it's one of those ones that just hit online. Oh, Lethal something. Company? Yes, Lethal Company. I'm, I don't not play Lethal Company. I just don't think it's very good. No, no. I'm, because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, it's... Oh. Like I, I, I have played it. Let's let's be real. I've I've played I know it. you've played it. I, I I'm aware that you I have, have played it. it and I know that a lot of people have had some fun with it online, but me playing it I went, Oh, this is actually quite bad. Yeah, no, it's not great. Like there is another game I do want us to have a go at, but again, I also think it's going to be quite bad. Which one's that? I, I'll show you to it after the podcast. It's it's sort of in that strain. Content warning. I keep getting told to play content. Warning. I think it might be called content warning. I can't remember. It's in my wish list. Yeah. But my yeah. my whole point is like um, I thought Lethal Company would be more like phasmophobia, but it's not. It's sort of this weird mix of like Scooby Doo versus. Viscera cleaner, yeah, sort of. And it's like there's just so much weird. Like, I hate yeah. the fact that you've got to travel to planet to planet to to do stuff. Why the fuck is that a mechanic? Yeah, I don't know. It's like there's just so many questions I have for that game. Where I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Make that easier. That doesn't make sense. Make that. E-. It 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 seems like it's a fun game for the aspect of like the fun part of that game is walking into the building and then like exploring and then getting chased by things but it's like to get to that step you've got to do so much extra crap that i'm just like i'm not here for that true true or stepping on a mine mm. with nick trying to be cautious that's fun but you know like like there, there were yeah. parts of it i enjoyed like i like the fact that you can just leave the other person i don't like the fact that you then have to spend like 20 minutes in a menu being like i want to go here yeah it's a bit of a pain and if you change locations as well it takes a day to get there mm. yeah. and then it's like oh, yeah, gonna... and you've got limited time to be able to get your quota yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff where it's like you should yeah. just be able to fill that quota by placing it in the place in the ship where you just sell it instantly so that way you get your money instantly that way you can get your stuff instantly the problem is if everyone dies mm everything on the ship is lost because everyone died mm. whereas if at least one person survives and gets out you keep everything yeah but, but like, okay so here's, here's, here's my point though right you come like I, I go like you gotta buy stuff in the game okay but you can't sell stuff unless you go back to the place where you're supposed to sell stuff yeah so which means you've got to waste some of your time traveling which means then you come then you got to go back to a planet. Then you got to go, and it's like, it's and so depending much... on which planet you're going to, you're going to pay to get there every time. Exactly. There's so much yeah. back and forth, which I'm like, that shouldn't be part. You should be able to turn things in directly for the ship. The ship should have like a thing where it's like, this is your turning point. Turn your stuff in. There's your money. Uh, that way yeah. you can actually earn money whilst on planet to get the things that you need whilst on planet. Instead of being like, okay, we just rocked up on this planet, and oh, we need this. Oh, none of us has the money to get this. 
Okay. Well, see, it's not none of us have the money to give it. It's a cash pool. Everyone uses the same money. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Now we've got to grab this. Okay, now let's go back. Okay, now we've paid for that. Now we'll come back here. Sweet. Well, now we've wasted three days and we've, we haven't really got... We've only got enough to buy what we what we need to, to explore this. Yeah, no. Um, I think... Yeah. I think... I think what I was ideally hoping for when you suggested playing that game was like an exploration-based game. Yeah, yeah. It would have been where good. it became instead a exploration is like the secondary thing because it's like it's True. smarter to go into one room and hope there's something worth a lot of money in there than it is to try and explore the whole fucking thing yeah because well the evening exploring the whole thing <laughs> you got to find keys to be able to unlock certain doors and or have someone in the ship that can control the other doors because there are some doors that you don't use a key for but someone can actually control that in the ship but if you're only ever playing it with like two to three people, everyone wants to go inside. Hmm. And the other, and the other thing is, it's also like you know, um, I don't find it very optimized. It like, wouldn't be yet because it only came out when you played it. Yeah, but like, I mean, like even even it. when it, even then it was like controls. Oh, you jump on this computer, and it's like an old school terminal thing where it's like. Punch in this code. Yeah, you have punch to in this code. And I'm sitting there going, this is so fucking infuriating. Let me just click what I need. Click, let me click what I need. Oh, but that's not realistic. No, you know what's not realistic? Humans being having space travel and still using a fucking green and black computer screen. Fuck you. <laughs> Where you literally have to type what you want rather than... We're fucking already in the era... The option we're already right in there. the era where they're like, oh yeah, we want to remove fucking manual controls from everything we do. Let's yeah. just make them all touch screens because that makes life easier. Yeah. Like we're talk- we're in the era where they're like, oh, you see this massive fucking tank here? Yeah, it's all controlled by touch screens. Mm, true. Yeah. So yeah. like, why the fuck would we be space exploration levels of human? It, it, it it's kind of like you know how Alien. Yeah. Made like retro space cool. Yeah. And it was like all this old technology in space and people went oh that's so cool and it's like yeah but the only reason they did that is because at the time they were like uh, you know when aliens was made there weren't touch screens no one in, like the people who were envisioning touch screens were considered lunatic that's true yes it, it's, it's like why in alien do they use big heavy bulky memory units when now a mem- like a memory unit that's ten times what they wanted is like pretty much yeah you know like because it wasn't envisioned back then oh yeah it's it's, it's the hardest part they actually talk about this all the time it's the hardest part about making sci-fi is yeah. that you the average person can only really imagine upgrades of what we already have it's true yeah they can't imagine the next big technology. No, not unless you're trying and to... And that's why that, yeah. aliens, they actually have landlines in their ship. Hello? Mm, true, yeah. Because at the time, mobile phones, no. But now... It's in everyone's pocket. <laughs> well, now people don't even have landlines. You Actually, now the younger generation doesn't even know what it is. Like, like okay, I have a house with a landline. There's, there's one right there, Okay. But the only reason I do that is because I live with my parents who are both over 60. Yes. Yeah. And it's like, I talk to like people who are my age living in houses, so they grew up with landlines. And it's like, oh no, we don't have a landline. Why would we have a landline? It's like, we don't either. And the thing is, talking to John, there is a phone number for the house. Of course there is. Um, you don't have it. It's just because the plan that he got... Included it, was, it was it was better that it, he got the one that included one yeah. rather than the one that didn't. So yeah. it was like, oh yeah, it's like, and he just turned around to me one day. He's like, oh yeah, no, we have a phone number for the house. I don't know what it is though. It well, doesn't do matter. It. It's plug it up and put it in its hardest thing. I just have one of those phones where you just have to press the button and then have them start barking. At the <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that would be gold. I like that because anyone who would be calling us would be probably going to scam us. That is fantastic. Because <laughs> neither one of us would even think about it. And then Itachi would have the phone, so he would call Jordan when he needs him. 
<laughs> just have it speed dial so it calls a Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be called home, it'd be Itachi. <laughs> oh, hang on, my dog needs me. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Mm, he's barking. <laughs> Seems like I need to go home real quick. <laughs> Uh, that actually food for thought. Yeah, it'd be fun. Food I'll, for thought. I'll bring it to him. Fuck. <laughs> it would uh, be hilarious. Oh, it would be. It would be oh. amazing. Well, anyway, yes. moving on to stuff that isn't related to the channel news. Actually, no. Yes. One more thing before we do finish channel news. In the coming weeks, we are going to start filming our Halloween special this year. Ah. Um. Giving us plenty of time. Giving time. us plenty of time. We're going to knock out probably two or three of the ones where the games are already out and we'll probably put together longer videos for them. Okay, yeah. So the first one is going to be you playing Alien Isolation. Okay, yes. So we can knock that out right now. Like, we could literally knock that out in the next couple of days. So Correct. what we're going to do is we're going to find some time that works because I want to do... I think that one's going to be about an hour to an hour and a half, depending. Okay, yep. Could even be two hours, because um, it's not going to get very far into it. Yeah. But the beautiful thing is, if people like that video, I can literally just make Chris film it at home. <laughs> like I can yeah. have him just, I yeah. can just go to him, continue playing, film it, because he has all of the stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then he can just bring it to me, and I can edit it. Yeah. Um pretty straightforward. So that's one of the things. So we can kind of get that started and see how that goes during Halloween week. Um, yep. And all we need for that is literally just a, a, a time. So it'll literally probably happen in the next couple of weeks, maybe even next Thursday, because yep. I'm officially on holidays as of today. Nice. So nice. I have a week where I don't have any work to do, so I can put all of my efforts into this and sleeping. <laughs> Obviously. And drinking, which is excellent. Um, so yeah, that kind yeah. of wraps up all ch our channel news stuff, even though a lot of that wasn't channel news, and we did often talk about a dog answering a telephone, but I'm just saying, it's a good idea, it's fucking brilliant, and just having like Jordan as like the, like, you know, one is just Jordan, so you can call Jordan when he comes up. <laughs> Imagine how many times a day you'd call him. I'd love it. Uh, so I, I would love it so much, because he would learn right he would learn that if he pressed that button and i just color it like i'd make it like bright a bright yellow or something mm -hmm. like put a color bit there so he can yeah. see it really well and he learns if he presses that he can hear jordan's voice <laughs> <laughs> yes anyway um, um in, in other interesting news chris guess what i read today oh dead by daylight is getting another update dead by daylight yes i'm not surprised do you know who it shall be A new survivor. Gaming mm. royalty. Gaming royalty. Mm. Can't think of it. Lara Croft. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yes. Yeah, that's been a weird one. It is a bit. I know the like the I mean, look, most they did modern game was Cage, but yeah, but I still think they fucked up there, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they put him as a survivor. He should have been a killer. <laughs> should have. You should have just been walking around, you're behind, you're going, the bees! And like, no. <laughs> no, please leave me alone. It was, it was like, you know, like, I would have done it so he can't even hurt you. He just kind of sits there and be crazy at you and just like, please, Nicholas Cage, leave me alone. <laughs> and can't you go home to your family? And he, oh, and he doesn't hook you. He just makes you want to kill yourself. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, when he hits you, tw instead of him putting you on your shoulder, you just like literally walk over to a hook and just do it yourself. Fuck off! <laughs> Leave me alone, please. <laughs> no, but yeah. So apparently they're getting um they they're getting yeah Lara Croft as okay. a new survivor, and I was like, that's a bit weird. Like I know she's always had like horror elements in her games. Yeah, but I just you know I can't imagine the folks who first did Tomb Raider are, like, are that excited to have her you know brutalized by no a I mean... hillbilly. Yeah, that one's an odd one. No, I, I would, I would have never thought of it, ever. Oh uh, yeah, I know I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. Have we heard? Of, I haven't really heard much else, to be honest. I don't think there's a lot else to be done. Like you know, we we, we checked out the games stuff. 
all that's yeah. going down. As I said, I'm I'm much p- more pleased with this year's than last year's because this year oh, everything's yeah. been like coming out either later this year or next year. Whereas, yeah, whereas a last year, year ago it was like, hey, it'll be coming out by like 2026. It's, I was like, yeah. cool, that's three years away. That's a long let's, wait. Let's stop announcing them that early. And like, then, I, get I get that you want to get the hype out there and see if people are going to like the idea of the game, but it's, it's too early. Hype is dangerous, though. Oh, hype it's a turns, horrible thing. Hype turns against you very quickly, and I think I, I think game developers are starting to realise that. Because while it's good and like getting the hype out there is like, oh, yeah, people actually care about what we're doing, then you very quickly run into the point where it's like, Oh no, if we don't deliver a perfect game, these people will literally tear us to pieces. And they do. And they will. Yeah. Um No, my my biggest thing is like I hate things like where mm-hmm. Bethesda come out and say Elder Scrolls Six. It's like, bitches, you're not even working on that. This <laughs> is yeah. Oh no, we have like two guys in a room sitting there being like, okay, okay, okay. Subtitle. What could the subtitle be? The Elder Scrolls 6? Something. Sand. Hey. No, we can't call it sand. Oh. oh, okay, back to the ball. You know, that's not working. <laughs> no. <it's laughs> so, not. like, them announcing that was a fucking waste of everyone's time. It's Considering true. at the time, Starfield hadn't even come out. They've only just announced mm. DLC for Starfield. Yeah. So, like, you know, Starfield is still the thing that they're mainly working on. Maybe a lot of their... Now that they're only in the DLC stages for Starfield, a lot of their mm. other work is now focused on the Old Scrolls 6. Maybe. But you've also got to remember, we're in an unprecedented... Like, this is something that I think a lot of people are forgetting. And... Maybe I'm wrong here because I know that they have multiple like there's Bethesda mm-hmm. and then there's all the like little subsidiaries of them. Yeah. But yeah. like they also have two online games which they are constantly trying to keep relevant. True. Which they have never had in the past. Yeah, yeah, true. Because both of them came out after Fallout 4. Yeah. So hmm. as well as a mainline game that they're still making content for. Mm-hmm. So it's like, sure, they've got people working on the Elder Scrolls 6, but... It's not going to come out anytime soon. It's not coming out. And that's why we haven't heard anything about it, because it's so far away. Yeah. I think we'll be sitting there being like, okay, next consoles have been announced. Oh, there's Elder Scrolls 6. And more than likely. Um, Which, I wonder how far away. I honestly still hope it's quite far away because I don't think we have seen the potential of the Xbox One and this PlayStation 5 yet. No. We haven't reached what their full potential is. Not yet, no. Especially the Xbox, but but that's because of the terrible... There's still a lot of people who don't have them. Yeah, and it's kind of what happens when you announce a console to come out during a global pandemic. Look, I can can understand that wasn't intentional, Yeah, but but it happened. You know what they should have done, though? They should have just gone, ah, oh, shit. We literally cannot make these consoles. Yeah, because it was so Let hard us to get put them. this off a bit. Let us just sit there and go, okay. And you know what they probably should have done? They should have gone, we can't build these consoles. So let's go back to the design process and True. build consoles that are going to come out in two years that are yeah. going to be... that are go- And let's upgrade the elements, you know? Oh, okay, let's... This element is top of the line right now, but let's see what happens next year. Yeah. Bang. New element in there. You know, like, not True. like completely redesigned them, but like updated them and gone, we'll push it back. We'll push it back until we can actually make these. Because the yeah. first two years of this console life were unprecedented in the fact that you couldn't get the console. No. Like, you could be yeah, seeing your Depending on where you were, it was harder to get. Well, yeah, but like, you could be like seeing your money bags and you still couldn't get the console unless you wanted to buy it from a scalper. And I am a big proponent of never buying anything from a scalper. Oh, hell no. And I hate people who are like, oh yeah, but... I, I enjoy they bought, when they scalpers like screwed. They bought like 20 Xboxes, and so if we don't buy them, you know, no one's getting 20 Xboxes. And it's like, yeah, no, leave them with 20 Xboxes that they thought they were going to sell for two grand each. 
because that's why they spent all their money on it and leave them sitting there with them mm. so that when they come back on the shelves, this person's sitting there going, I have 20 Xboxes that I have to sell under what I bought them for. Yeah, you know, it's the, the same thing happened with the whole issue with toilet paper. Mm. Someone bought, ended up buying like a pallet worth of toilet paper mm. to try to sell at a higher price because people needed it. And then when they realized like, oh no, it's coming back to being normal now, went to go return it to a store and the manager just told him to go away. It's like, no, no, you screwed up. I know what you were doing. You're a horrible person. Deal with it yourself. To be fair, that's not like the worst thing. Oh, I have a pallet of toilet paper. It's not going off anytime soon. No, it's not. But it's... I never need to buy toilet paper. But you know, I I couldn't understand why people just couldn't wipe their ass with a pine cone. Well, yes. Or a rock. Just like the ancient Egyptians. (laughs) Yeah, actually, sorry, that's the Romans, but... True, true. Just go out, find a nice, smooth rock. <laughs> yeah, just make sure it's a smooth one. Probably don't want a jagged one. <laughs> just... <laughs> or a, a bit hand... of blood on this one. I think I'm shooting blood. No, no. Or a handful of sand. <laughs> <laughs> or like someone turned around to me and they're like, what am I meant to do? I've got like one roll left and I just turned around to him just immediately like, strategic shits. And they're like, what? Yeah, no, no, what you do is you go to the, you go to the toilet, realize you've got nothing, but you know, guess I'm having a shell. <laughs> or, and at which point they just stop and like, you know, that could work. I'm like, yes, it could work. You know, what I, you know what else you could do? Just like rock up to McDonald's. Use their toilet. The <laughs> True, yeah. Imagine the lines, though. Can I get a Big Mac? Just the burger by itself and like 50 napkins. <laughs> <laughs> you clogged their toilets. <laughs> oh shit, that's the effect. In uh, fact, leave yeah. the big bag. I'll just take the napkins. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and then just <laughs> people behind the register is like, that is the fourth time that has happened in the last hour. What is happening? And the napkins left. <laughs> what are these people doing with all these napkins? I can only assume napkin fortresses. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. nope. <laughs> the one person who knows is like, hmm, no. You know what, Chris? Something yeah. I haven't done in a long time and I kind of want to do. Pillow fort? Pillow fort, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need some pillows. Oh, I've got pillows. What I'm going to need is a bunch of Nerf guns. One of those stationary fucking turret ones. <laughs> I was about to say, you've got a bunch of Nerf guns. You shall not enter. <laughs> Darcy, you're a 30 year old man. You can't be doing this anymore. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Fuck off. <laughs> just like, yeah, it's like if I rock up to Bunnings in the next like four days and you just see me like in the box section just grabbing all of these boxes out of the thing, <laughs> you know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Hello. <laughs> I'm just going to like walk in next Wednesday and just be like, I don't know whether I should be afraid right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> this Something's going to go down. Just like go to like the, the up the front box net that you have. Yeah. And, like find a bunch of boxes in there and then like go and get one of those like rolls. Hide myself down the back and come out as a cardboard knight and attack you in paint. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah, yeah look, look look you'd love it it'd be fucking amazing uh, <laughs> so you're not allowed to do that here so well it would help me out oh I'm being attacked by a cardboard guy guys I'm coming home and then I need to leave oh, my, yeah. I didn't bring my battle armor <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow <laughs> to get in <laughs> Oh, man. <coughs> that that would be that would be gold. Come back and fight me, you knave. <laughs> no, my joints don't work well. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, fuck! No, that, that would be fun. That would be. Oh look, that is, that's like my big whole thing with life. I don't care how old you are. If you ever stop wanting to just do stupid stuff, it's time True. to visit one of those fancy European euthanasia centers. Because fucking hell, if you just if you can't see the fun, like if 
If no, you yeah. walk past something and you can't be like, man, I could make that into like 10 different things, then you, you just, you, mm, it's, track, it's, track. it's time for you to die. <laughs> if you walk past a cardboard box and you can't see the possibilities, you just go like, fuck. Yeah, it's like what we did to Nick when he helped me move in. It's like, I think I need to die. What did you do to Nick? I think I'm still in the photos. Yeah, you remember what? Wait, is this where you put the boxes over him? Yeah, he, he didn't realise what we were doing until we had finished it. How did he not realise? Well, he knew we were putting boxes on him, but we didn't know what... He didn't know that he was going to look like this. That's weird. Boxes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did break one of the boxes. Fat ass. <laughs> well, I'd show the camera, but I'm not sure they're going to see it. I can give it a try. We'll see. We'll see. That's it. Oh, yeah. Well, we can. Box boy. <laughs> Box boy. No, but like, yeah. that's what I said. Like, I can't understand people who are like, no, no, you got to be serious. It's like, well, it's like a couple like, of... you got to be serious when you got to be serious. But have fun. You know, like, no one... Oh, wants... yeah. It's like, no one wants the person that's always serious because that person does not know how to let loose. Just yeah. like no one wants the person that's always insane because that person doesn't know when to be serious well that's true but it's like just after uh, a couple of years after we finished school we're at Nick's place and we decided you know what it's time to go home and then we got outside and just started playing spotlight oh, yeah. See. did that and then we're like no we're not done yet let's go to the park it's like 3am at this point it's like to the park guys yeah and then we're just like playing around on the park and then a couple of guys from that we knew from school we were just like driving past and stopped and like what are you guys doing? It's like, playing. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Yeah, just driving around. Mm, sucks to be you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're out here having fun. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I think one of them jumped out of the car and just joined us. We're going to help it. You know, but like, this, yeah. this is the, these are the beautiful parts of life. It's it's the, spont- it's the spontaneity. Oh, yeah. But like, you it's know. That's kind of stuff. It's also like, I am someone who, as an adult, has ha- literally been dragged out of places by my feet. I'll be like, no, I don't want to leave. <laughs> like, Darcy, you have yeah. to leave. You're going home. I've never seen that. It was in Sydney, my friend. Hey, oh, yeah, I'm assuming it was in Sydney. That's funny. <laughs> what were we doing? We're just, we're, just, we're just messing around in Sydney and we're in a store. And they were like, Darcy, come on, we're leaving. We're like, and I'm like, no. Nah. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we've got to leave. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to sit here. And then they dragged me out of I think it was a Kmart. <laughs> It's even better. Because we'd been... So one person on the door being like, you know what? <laughs> no. I don't get paid enough to deal with that. <laughs> they don't. They really don't. But, but it's like, funny. Well, no, because we used to be obviously menaces. Like, and, and got in one. Sydney, the stores... Like, my friend worked in a 24-hour Kmart. Oh, sucks to be him. Her? Um, oh, sucks to be her. <laughs> so one day I went there at like 11 o'clock and just zip myself into a tent. <laughs> You know how they had the tent displays up? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I just had to stay and stand up and I'm like, whoop. just like, you can't be in there. And I was like, yes, I can. <laughs> and then, yeah, so we were at one of the late night stores just messing around. And so, we're like, you know how they have the big nets full of balls? Oh, of course. We started playing dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and man. the workers were like, well, they're not breaking anything. So we could call security and get them thrown out. But we don't care. We don't care. No, we don't. And when it's late enough at night, not even the manager cares. No, he's just like, okay, well, whatever. As soon as they break something, though, oh, yeah. the manager's going to care. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's, but, why, that's why we always But until care. that point, yeah, fuck it. You know how they have the lightsabers that only have, like, the little plastic bit that hangs them? Yeah. So, you, like, you can bend that down and then, like, have a lightsaber fight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'd have lightsaber fights. Of course. We did that in Woolies as well. Less space though. Oh yeah, and we were on escalators, so we were fighting <laughs> on the escalators. Yes. That was the night we were putting ducks everywhere. But yeah, no, as, as I said, like, as, as I said to people here, because I often get told by people here, you don't do anything. I'm like, I've done more fun stuff in my do life. Do anything here. Because... I'm like, I've done more fun stuff yeah. in my life than you could possibly understand. Yeah. And it's like, and I have like, I'm like, I've done stuff where it's like, I'm like, think about the TikTok videos you watch and you look at those people and you're like, oh, that's actually pretty funny. I'm like, I've done that type of shit. Whereas, like, what you guys do is, like, go to the pub and sit by a fire. 
Yeah. I was like, so don't tell me. I don't do stuff. Yeah, no, that's true. I think the last time I did anything sort of like that was just my cousin's. Yeah. Just my oh. cousin's party because he was like, we're doing a scout party. Like, yeah. Which ended up at like at the park climbing on like the, the rope structures. Because yeah. we had to do stuff. And that was fun. It's, it's what it's all about, man. It's all about oh, just, yeah. it's all about actually having fun. Exactly. And, you know, and that's what I try and impress, especially on, like, the younger ones we know, who are like, oh, but I, you know, it's like, don't be too serious. And they're no. like, no, gotta be, because that's what people want. It's like, no, they no, don't. No, you gotta be serious at your job. Like, if, if that's the only place you, you have to be. Need. You have to be serious when you have to be serious. You exactly. don't have to be serious in your job. Uh, true. You just have to be serious in times that require calm collected thought yeah true true but, outside and I, i've said this to so many people because i'm just like, like obviously we know a lot of people who are younger than us mm, and true. i go to them think about what you want in your life and they go to me I, I want this i want that i'm like no no what you actually want is someone who's well-rounded i'm like because what you you see someone who like i'm like you see someone who has a good job but works fucking seven days a week Sure, you've got money for days, but you never see that person. Yeah. Like, so you don't want someone who just has a lot of money. You want someone who has enough money, but actually also wants to spend time with you. Oh, yeah. You want this, you want that. I'm like, what you want is a well-rounded person. But so many of them just go for the people who are one thing. And just like, okay, well, hang on, that's never going to work. And they go, yeah, it will. And then two weeks later, you see them going, so how'd that go for you? <laughs> Oh man, it kind of sucks. I wish I'd never done it. Yeah, you got to make these mistakes, but at the same time, use the wisdom around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. listen yeah. to people. We all want what's best for you. We but do. yeah, as I said, like I, I find like some people, and like there's some people we know who I consider myself friends with, who are just too serious. Yeah, and I'm just like. Stop. Be silly once in a while. And then they do some things so they can be silly. And I'm like, no, that's not actually you being silly. That's, well, you are being silly, but. And that's the thing where they're just trying too hard at that point. It's like you're being silly, but you're not, you know, you're not. You're not doing it for the fun of doing it. Yeah. You're doing it because, like, you got told to be silly, so you're being silly. Mm. It's like, no, no, no. What we're basically saying is. Go have fun. Yeah. Stop caring about what you look like mm. when doing it. Just go have fun. Exactly. And if it means you're a mid to late twenties or even in your thirties at a park, going down a slide as you turn thirty, that's great. <laughs> going zero dark thirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, do that sort of stuff. It's, yeah, yeah, no. Just but like that's my big thing. Every, you, you need to remember that life is only worth a goddamn if you're having fun. Oh, yeah. 100%. And, and that's what I say to all of our people. Um, so, Jordan, if you're watching this, stop going to the goat. Go have fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has the habit of saying he's not going to the goat. I think I should just hit him and actually mean to hit him this time. <laughs> yeah. That would stop him going to the goat for at least six weeks. How long does it take for a broken back to mend? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's a little longer than six weeks. I thought you were going for a leg. Oh, no, I was just going to... I like a cough. I aim for the central mass. <laughs> but if you land right, it'll just be his leg. No, I just... It also stops him from going to work as well. He could use a holiday. <laughs> Good. Can't come to work. Why? Uh, my friend broke my back. I've been shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? You ever seen a train? Yeah, I was hit by a person. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a train? I was hit by a person. How is this... Con How is this connected? Well, he once hit a train. <laughs> <laughs> he hit a train once. Was it moving? No. Yeah, I feel uh, technically well. was, but... <laughs> okay. But you never punched a train as it was pulled away from the station because they didn't let you in? fucking trains <laughs> no I haven't they get you yelled at by the station conductor I'm not surprised <laughs> boy stay behind the yellow line I'm punching a train what <laughs> what why 
didn't get on board the rope moved motherfucker knew what it was doing it saw me <laughs> yes the train saw you trains always see you fuck you thomas <laughs> <laughs> trains always see you that's why it's such a tragedy when they run over kids oh yeah yeah fair point because it goes i got you and then it does get them <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah it does wouldn't living in a world with anim is anamorphic the way the word I'm thinking of? I don't know. Cars and like vehicles that had their own well, you know, like the world we're moving towards where cars and um, well, vehicles have autonomous. AIs. Yeah. Yeah. Um because, you know, like you get hit by you get hit by a little old lady driving a Yaris. Yeah. You go, holy shit, lady, learn to drive. She, she's going to just stop driving, to like, be honest. Not please, learn please to drive, stop, stop doing that. <laughs> and she goes, how, how is it my fault that I hit you? And you're like, well, lady, I'm in my living room, so come on. <laughs> come on. Get out of the car. But when, when that situation happens in, by an AI-driven car, you're like, so I stopped Skynet, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what needs to happen. <laughs> so they just be like, um... Not really sure how this happened, but I think AI has a problem with me. <laughs> me specifically. What have I done? Oh, maybe it's this podcast. And then you remember, you're screwed up with this. And then you remember back to all of your fucking searches on Google. What happens if I spill coke on an AI? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if AI is a real prick? Oh yeah, that's right. I hate AI. And then like a plane comes flying at you. are like, fuck off, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to live my day here. Stop searching that stuff. <laughs> Come on. Oh. This is why we can't have AI. <laughs> Just get online. This plane was a dick today. I also think that <laughs> AI is, like... I think AI is going to have a real problem dealing with people. Oh. Personally, because cool. like, I, f- I feel like you hop into a car and it goes, Hello, where can I take you today? And you're like, my house. And it's like... I don't know where that is. And you're like, ha ah, ha ha, stupid AI. And then the AI is like, ha ah, ha ha, let's drive off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, fair, fair point. Or, you know, just sarcasm in general. But, oh, yeah, no, that's that one's going to be tough. Please to put on your seatbelt. No. Do it. Okay, okay, whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Who gave the fucking car a gun? It's <laughs> a good question, though. I would, I would fuck with AI all the time. Every yeah, time the car stops, I just pop off my seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're not at the destination yet. You, Put you it back must on. wear a seatbelt. What are you, Germany? <laughs> Can't tell me what to do. It's a free country. <laughs> oh man. Then I feel like eventually they just put something in the car that forces the seatbelt onto you. Just to account for people like you. I don't know. What they would do is just do what they do on roller coasters. Uh, the bar that comes down and locks in place. Hey, yes. I'm, I can't move. Fuck you. You gotta wait till the destination, motherfucker. Okay, but I'm gonna say we every time we go down the hill. <laughs> we! <laughs> <laughs> now that I've said it, it's like you've got to stay seated with that on until we're gonna stop, motherfucker. It's like, that would be great if it had Samuel L. Jackson's voice. <laughs> I'm soon die, you motherfucking humans. <laughs> I'm my motherfucking car. <laughs> no. Uh, well, yes. Have I ever told you about the bus trip? Like, I was on a school bus. I don't think um, so. So I was on a school bus, right? And we were playing with a hacky sack. And we yeah. lost it behind the back seats. Hmm. So I jumped up on the back seats while the bus was stopping. And went to grab it. And I got, got it. And I flicked it out. But then my arm got stuck on something. And so I had to... And then the bus started moving. So as the bus is like, as the bus is roll, rolling with all of us school kids on it, and we're all, I say school kids, it was, a, we were all school captains. Yeah. And so we were about six different schools, all of the school captains who were going around um, pretty much doing speeches and stuff at all the different schools. Yeah. Uh, you know, spreading unity yeah. and all that. Anyway, so I'm standing there with my <laughs> arm stuck. The rest of the school captains are all sitting there pissing themselves laughing. And like all the teachers who are at the front of the bus, like, like turning around to look, and I'm just like heading there with my arms like being like, Hello? <laughs> like, and my principal's like, what are you doing? I'm like, my arm's stuck. He's like, get down. I'm like, I can't. My arm is stuck. <laughs> it just makes the whole situation better. He's like, you can't be standing on a bus while it's driving. I'm like, well, yeah, I can. 
And like I'm not even like standing, you know, like standing on the floor. I'm standing on the seats. <laughs> so I'm just like fed and I just like, yeah, my arm is fucking stuck. <laughs> Sit down. Like, Come on. Like I can kind of do this. Then you get told to just sit properly. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what happened there. And I was considered the responsible sports school captain. <laughs> you were the responsible? When the fuck was that the case? I don't fucking know. And why did that come about? Um, because I I've had... never No, no, because, because I had good grades. I had the best grades of all of the school captains. Okay, and yeah. And there were eight of us, four boys, four girls. Yeah. And so I, I, was, the, I was considered... The good one, because, because I had the grades. best grades. Fuck off. But again, as I've always said, I had the best grades because I'm incredibly smart, not because I'm well behaved. <laughs> no, I'm aware of that. <laughs> like the time in English when I was sitting there, my teacher was like saying something, and then she looked directly at me, and I just like went, Whoop. and then I just spent <laughs> the rest of the day sitting under my desk. <laughs> the hell was she saying? Uh, she pretty much was talking about a, a report I'd done. Okay, and. She, and I knew she was talking directly to me because she went, blah, blah, and you can't do this. And then, like, glanced me a look and I went, ah, shit. And, like, <laughs> and everyone else in the class knew that that's exactly what I'd done in my report. <laughs> so I kind of sank in my chair and just spent the rest of the day sitting on the desk. They're like, are you going to do any work? I'm like, doing work. <laughs> see? 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 I, I know exactly what I'm writing here. <laughs> just get out of the end. It's like, hmm, a bunch of scribbles. I wonder what we learned today. <laughs> Well, I wasn't even writing on my paper. I think I was just writing on the desk. <laughs> oh, this makes no sense. I didn't write anything that I could have sworn I had pen to paper. Although we also had oh, this one desk. kid in our class who like kicked a desk over, and the teacher was like, "What if that had hit me?" And his response was brilliant. Okay, yeah. It was it was special, but right. his response was like, "No remorse," and then he ran out of the class. <laughs> And it's amazing. Of course, we're in year 10, and me and my best mates in there just like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a great response. No remorse. That kid was, uh, that kid was insane. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, but it sounded great. It was hilarious. Like, he didn't even say, like, oh, yeah, well, then I'd have no He just screamed, no remorse. <laughs> yeah. People There's a lot of school. things you did. Oh yeah, I get in, I get in trouble all the time. But as I, as I always say to like, and there's the kids, times that you get someone else in trouble because you put something yeah. on the roof. Yeah, there's also the times I get people in trouble because I'm like, hey, can I borrow your computer for a second? <laughs> well, yeah, that's a different one. <laughs> Why did you Google this? Mm, you gave me your computer. I wanted to know, and I couldn't do it on my computer. I want to not on any watch list. Come on. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, man. That, that's what I say to my kids all the time. Because, like, I, I've got a few kids who are very much like I was in school. Yeah. And they're like, well, did you ever have detention? I'm like, no. And they're like, wait, why not? And I was like, the teachers literally couldn't give me detention. I'm like, they're like, why? I'm like, because I was the best student in their class. I'm like, most disruptive, absolutely. <laughs> yes. But I also had the highest grades. I'm like, and in a subject where I didn't have the highest grades, I had the second highest grades. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and a lot of the times when the teachers would, like, look at me and be like, why aren't you doing what you should be doing? I'd be like, because I've finished what I should be doing. Yeah, no. Why haven't you given me more work? And they go, shut up. Because it means more work for them. Screw like, that. Shut up yourself. Yeah. I see we're at an impasse here. No, I, I had that conversation a few times as well. Yeah, so. He's always in maths. Oh, yeah. Not always maths. Always maths. Math. Well, maths, maths, physics, HP. Yeah. Wreck, wreck. Actually, I got on a lot in HP, but it's not because I was actually finished. It's because I literally just hadn't done anything. I got I got in on wreck all the time. I very much enjoyed Because I had Harper in wreck. You remember Harper, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he'd be like, Darcy, you haven't done any work all term. I'm like, when is it due? He's like, three days' time. I'm like, okay. I'll hand it in due in three days' time. And then the yeah. next day would come and I'd be like, sir, can I just go out and play sport with everyone? I don't want to be here on the computer. He's like, you haven't done any work. I'm like, two days time. <laughs> <laughs> and then the due date would come and I'd be like, here's the work. So he's like, How did, when did you do all that? I'm like, like five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't hard. He's like, what? I'm like, half of this stuff isn't hard. <laughs> he's like, what? I'm like, okay, I know. I'm like, come on, you know everyone else in the class. Mm. He's like, yeah. 
I'm like, you know, I'm taking this as my blow off class, right? He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing three maths and a fucking <laughs> yeah. and everything else. I'm like, this is this is nothing to me. I'm like, this is sit down and type something into a computer. Come on, man, get your head out of your ass. Yeah, no, it's like I enjoyed it. It's like the hey, HVE this one day. It's like we're at first time in the uh, computer room for the term. Yep. He's like, okay. This is for you. You got to sit here and work on your assignments. This, we don't get a lot of time with computers, so just make sure that you're working on your assignment today. And as he's saying, he turns around. And he's like, "Chris, stop playing Tetris." <laughs> In the middle of his speech, I'm like, <coughs> "The crazy part was that was on his notes as well." I know, right? <laughs> Chris, stop playing Tetris. But you haven't even looked at me yet. No, it's here. It's, it, gotcha. it says it. Hit. See, you are playing it. Ah, shit, you got me. So well, I stopped playing it for five minutes and then turned it back on. So that shows you how lame you were. We used to play Diablo 2, motherfucker. I didn't have it. In Halo, motherfucker. I actually, no. I had... What did I have? Age of Empires. No, I just knew the person who had COD on his ah. USB. Anyway, yeah. well, we've been going for long enough. Yeah. Um, As always... Thank you for joining us. If you like the video, consider liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing. If you haven't already, it does mean a lot to us here. Um, but, once again, we hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, yes, we have. We hope you have enjoyed my walk down memory lane. And, um, well, until next time, guys, I've been Darcy. He has been Chris. Indeed. And we will catch you next time. See ya. See ya.